Hello and welcome, this is Spadget Sims and today I'm back! <laughs> For any of you who don't know, uh, I have been taking most of October to spend my time or as much time as possible doing build cha challenges, create a sim challenges, hanging out with the sims community generally, getting to know more of you and, and having a great time really. I've learned so much, I've learned new building tricks, like just so much. I've, I've met new people, I've found, discovered different content creators, people who uh, make mods and stuff for the game. It's been a brilliant, brilliant month for me. So I'm really sorry that I haven't been uploading videos very often at all during October, but um, you should hopefully find that it's worth it when um, I'm going to be showing you what I've been up to and I'll be back to, you know, daily videos um, and there's just so much more that I want to do now. Um, and I did, I did intend to upload videos during October but I just didn't have time with all of the challenges that I'd committed to doing and I still didn't get to do all of the ones I'd planned to. So as you can see here we have Spadget Sims which you probably are already familiar with. We know that she... I don't know how, but she's so much like me. I mean, it's too real. Like, the expression she does sometimes, and yeah, just it's just a bit too <laughs> too much. So one of the things I did was make a new Spadget, Spadget 2.0, who is a bit cooler than me, let's be honest. Um, she's cooler than me, and she like has a better figure as well. So <laughs> I'll show you that at the end. Um, so I'll go sort of in chronological order some of the sims that I've made um, this month. So we'll start off with this person here. So this giveaway sim, um, I didn't make her. This was a sim, um, the first uh, create a sim challenge that I did during October. She um, was part of a challenge, uh, ugly to pretty uh, style challenge. So I had to take this sim and change her features and so on to make her pretty. So uh, <laughs> this is her before. So I've just downloaded her just so that you could see, you know, it's easier to see this than just a flat picture of what she looked like before I uh, changed her. And then, so she was just called giveaway sim. And this um, is what she looks like now that she's been changed. So let's have a look at her face. So I kept her eyes pretty much the same because I thought she had a really beautiful eye shape already. Um, and then just changed parts of her features, um, gave her some hair and um, and gave her a name. <laughs> so um, yeah, she's got a much nicer figure now. She's got a really good shaped bum actually. Um, she's got some long blue nails. And um, yeah, she's quite cool. I think maybe her legs might still be a bit skinny now I look at her again, but I mean, yeah, she's um, she looks cool to me. She was my first ever Create a Sim challenge in The Sims 4, so I'm really happy with how she turned out. I placed third in the competition for her, so I um, actually won a stuff pack. So that was a really good positive start to the month of challenges. Um, so I didn't do like different outfits for her or anything like that. It was because it was just um, images. And so yeah, I, that's her for the first one that I did. So then the next uh, challenge I did, I came joint third again, I think. Um, there were no prizes, it's just for the... Um, Oh, why can't I think of the word? Like, but like for the glory of, of you know, placing and, and stuff and, and just for the fun of doing it and everything. So here is Bo Oaxaca and it was supposed to be um, not necessarily your sim self, but like who you want to be almost like, you know, like a perfect sim. So I, yeah, I tried to make kind of a perfect sim, like with a perfect figure, perfect personality. Um, you know, basically she's better than me. Um, so she is a musical genius. Um, did I give her any likes or? Oh yeah, likes and dislikes. So she likes gardening, handiness, baking, dancing, programming, wellness, singing and piano. Now, uh, anyone who knows me knows I absolutely hate gardening because I don't like mud. And, uh, but I would love to love gardening. I would love to be good at it. Um, so yeah, it's just one of those things. 
um, I want to like programming more than I do these kind of things so uh, and then she is creative she is a free gun she rejects consumerism which I do honestly I do but I slip up all the time because I don't care enough about it um, so I find like real kind of a lot of sort of commercialism and things like that are just uh, bleh. but um, yeah and the dance machine as well I want to be a good dancer and dance all the time but I don't have the confidence to just dance around all the time and uh, I feel like I probably have too many wobbly bits <laughs> so anyway here she is so um, one of the things that frustrated me when I was making her is that there is a bug in the game whereby if you so this hairdo there isn't like mint hair in the game there's turquoise which is what i use on my sim self but um the minty hair is i'll show you the actual see this hair here um so it comes in lots of different colors depending on which one you select but it's not actually so like black is pink that black is like that you know all these different colors so it's actually like platinum blonde, which you can see her roots there, which gives the minty hair, which is quite annoying because it means to be able to have this hair, I have to have platinum blonde for every um, hairstyle. Um, I didn't realize that you couldn't change hair color for different hairstyles for different outfits. Apparently not. So anyway, let's move on. I've done all of her outfits. So it means she's got platinum blonde hair for her wedding hair. Um, so this is her outfit that dress is obviously based on my real wedding dress for anyone who knows or was at my wedding they will know that that's probably the closest we're going to get to my real wedding dress i had sleeves on mine but having no sleeves because she is better than me means that you can see her tattoo i'm so close to getting that tattoo it's so cool i really love it uh then her sportswear so she doesn't need shoes for that because the only sports she's going to be doing is things like yoga like proper nice things and there is a cat doing a downward dog uh, or similar Ooh. and then we've got her jamas here um i've painted her nails really nice colors you know for each outfit and yeah that's her pajamas her party outfit here she's got some long green nails there matching jewelry with like vinyl this is a little bit hipstery but i mean i think she makes it work and her swimming costume there her hot weather outfit she's got really nice clavicles so i wanted most of her um outfits all to be like off the shoulder and then her winter outfit which is like a cool cat jumper and like these are the only boots in the game I think that don't make your calves look fat and weird so um, yeah anyway so this is Bo Oaxaca she's like the ideal person the ideal sim so yeah that's her um, the next sim I made wasn't for a challenge as such um, she's an orange sim so she's called Olivia Orange it's basically to um, raise awareness for anti-bullying um, month uh so there's kind of a lot of people in the community are making orange sims or orange builds um and uploading those to the gallery so this is her everyday outfit i tried to pick a skin tone that didn't look too ridiculous but at the same time was pretty orange i think yeah i didn't do a second everyday outfit so i can't remember what stuff she's wearing oh that's quite cool yeah i like that she's got a nice figure actually um little Olivia so obviously I've not kept her completely orange in every outfit just she's obviously got an orangeness about her um, kind of a ready orange here with her glamorous nightwear party outfit swimwear hot weather and uh, I've been making sims with nice bums I think recently and uh, and then her cold weather outfit 
which is probably the least orange of them all, but I really liked this puffer jacket. I just thought it looked really cool to have on. And I like that hair. I like the hair texture because I think it's like afro, but ginger, it's just, it's really cool. Anyway, so uh, this is Olivia Orange. And then finally, then you will see Spadget 2.0. Are you ready? Here she is. So her face is exactly the same. I haven't changed anything on her face at all. So still got my silly big nose. Um, I've just, I've changed her eyebrow color. I've given her the massive rock that I have wanted for a while. Because in the game, so I've not used any custom content for the items, only like a skin overlay. Um, and yeah, I uh, so the game doesn't have like my perfect engagement ring that I that I have that my husband kindly bought me, but I I all have always wanted um, a green created diamond, um, a massive one. <laughs> so yeah, so she's got that on. Um, okay, so this is her. I've given her I think a full five everyday outfits, so she'll wear different outfits all the time. Um, like I mean, her legs are quite big to be wearing short shorts but you know there's no flab or cellulite there she's doing well okay second outfit oh yeah I've done a lot of different hairstyles and stuff um just to give some variation um like I used to have a top like this and I used to wear it all the time I don't think I'd wear the necklace but it comes together as an outfit so um yeah I thought that was quite cool and like silver feather thingies in her hair um, next everyday outfit. I really like this dress. Um, somehow though, I think it makes her look old in the face. I was trying to make, find some hair to go with this so that you could see the detail on the back of the dress. Um, but yeah, I don't know why it makes her, I don't know, it makes her look old, but then I am old, so that's okay. Um, this outfit just looks so cool. Even though she's a rounder, like not anywhere near like real spadget, but um, I, it's just such a cool outfit. I mean, she doesn't have wobbly bits. So I mean, yeah, if I looked like her, I'd go out wearing that every day. Um, so she's the one who's got kind of like my real hair almost. And then we've got this more wintry outfit. I do like a jumper dress. Um, so yeah, so there's that. So these are the everyday outfits and we have formal. This is what I kind of wanted my wedding dress to be. Um, but I couldn't find any fabric that was turquoise like this. Um, so yeah, she's got obviously my tattoo that I love. Because I've used the original Spadget and then made her figure better, her arms are a bit of a gross shape. So they're not really fat, but <laughs> they didn't come out great, her arms. But I mean, fine. Um, so yeah, so we've got this outfit here. She's got her hair glamorous and shiny. Um, yeah, maybe I should do like a comparison thing. Um, show my real wedding photo compared to this one. <laughs> um, and then, so we've got her PE kit. So she's got some really cute earrings here. Um, my hair falls out of everything so I thought it would have the best chance of staying in this kind of style um, and again PE really consists of just like yoga and stuff it is not something that I need trainers for so um, I like this outfit so these are all like where my original sim self is it, almost every single outfit well yeah every single outfit I pretty much have something very very similar this is all stuff that I would wear if I had the figure for it or stuff that I would like to wear like I would wear this to go to yoga in or something like that um, but yeah there's no way I could have my arms out so then we've got this lovely Jama outfit here um, which I think is cool and we have a party outfit now there's something about this that I that makes me think of uh, ice skating outfits. I don't know, but I kind of like it. So, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I like it. And it's not for anyone else, is it? It's uh, just what I think is really cool. And uh, then we have the whole swimming outfit here. This is very realistic. If I have my hair in one 
barn or whatever, it gets so heavy, weighed down with water, that it feels like it's being ripped out of my head. So this is kind of very realistic. Um, you know, I've tried to keep the realism, but also make her quite cool compared to before. Um, <laughs> I need to look into, this is the summer outfit. It's definitely something I would wear, subject to my arms being okay to be out. Um, yeah, I, do, I don't know whether um, you can play about with the files in the game to make a sim's personality and memories and friendships and everything all stay the same but have them look different. Um, if not, I might have to try and adapt the sim that I have in game to look like this because I think I'd prefer that. And then winter outfit. So the winter outfit has stayed the same. She's still got a banging big rock on, better figure, um, you know, nicer hair. Just just a bit of a spruce up really and that is everything so I've done far more build cha challenges than I have CAS challenges and build challenges take a lot longer so I will show you all of those do some tours around some of the buildings that I've, I've built um, but yeah anyway um, welcome back and hopefully you'll welcome me back onto your screens and uh, yeah, I'll be here making videos once again every day. So if you enjoyed this video, then uh, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And um, I feel really out of practice, actually. I feel like <laughs> I'm not really speaking very well. Um, but <laughs> thank you very much for bearing with me if you've got this far. And uh, more importantly than anything else, be excellent to each other. Bye-bye.